was fast. Mail call, super exciting this week. We got a new GoPro already from Amazon since the one they sent me was broken. And we got the GT chassis guys for Limitless build. I am so excited for this. We're gonna get on this immediately tonight. Hopefully we can start testing the Limitless GT this weekend and break 150. Um, we got some battery mounts. We got the Velcro for the batteries. Um, we got oil for bearings. We'll try out this oil. Um, we got new center drive shafts. Um, one of my drive shafts was getting really chewed up from the stock drive cups. So I'm gonna have to switch out the drive cups and maybe we could use the old center drive shaft for the infraction. But super excited, gonna get on this right now. Welcome back guys, I'm super stoked right now. We just got our GT chassis from Scorched RC. So finally we could take apart this puppy and start transferring everything over. I'm hoping we could start testing by this weekend. So um, I'm gonna start by demolishing this car off camera and putting together the chassis. And then when I actually start building the car, I'll bring you guys back on and we will do a video of the build. All right guys, we got the chassis together and we got all the electronics out. Got all the pieces over here and stuff. Um, I'm probably gonna be doing most of the work off camera. This is like the most I've had this car apart to this point. So I'm just gonna kinda go through and explain the process and everything I've been going through. So here's my front brace. Um, we got a screw broken off in there. We'll probably have to get some vice grips and pull that out. You can see here the drive shaft was wearing on it. The Scorched RC since it's bigger titanium. Um, we're probably gonna take the grinder to that, give it a little bit more room. I'll show you the drive shaft right here. You can see it's all eaten up right there. But another problem is the stock drive cups. I didn't know this when I installed it. The stock drive cups really eat these Scorched RC drive shafts. So I heard this is a fix to it. I'll try and leave all these parts in the description down below, everything that I'm putting into this build. Um, also, we're gonna go through the front and clean everything, it's super dirty. Uh, so that's what we gotta switch out for the drive cup. Um, we got, we'll check our diff locker, our Scorch RC diff locker, make sure that's all good. Probably top off the shocks with oil and everything. Um, we have this aftermarket steering bell crank that we'll probably put in. Uh, it's gunmetal. I'm pretty sure it has the servo saver taken out too, so hopefully it tightens everything up and makes the steering better when you're doing speed runs. So we're just going to go through the front, completely clean it, and get that on, and then we'll start doing the back. So we're going to go ahead and clean off this diff locker with some brake cleaner, and then clean off the inside of the gearbox and everything because we got new ceramic bearings we could put in so we could go a lot faster plus I'm pretty sure my bearings are shot uh, I found these off of Sega Customs when I was getting some more gears um, I'll leave a link in the description down below alright guys we got our first piece on so this is the upgraded steering assembly um, it actually took me a long time to figure this out I've never taken it apart before so I noticed my bearing kit had these small bearings, which is for replacement of just the small metal bushings they had in there. So it has a lot faster steering now. Like just feeling it is crazy. Um, the front is completely clean and put back together. So I'll put the diff locker back in and start putting the front all back together. All right guys, we got the front all put together and I love this new bell crank. So it doesn't have a servo saver, it just replaces all the old pieces. But I got those new ceramic bearings in there and this thing just freaking is like butter smooth. Then we got the upgrade drive cup right there. Everything's already on the front. <clears throat> We're gonna start doing the back now. Um, I have this custom RC upgrade rear hinge pin that's supposed to make it zero degrees. It doesn't seem, it definitely, brought the angle less 
but I don't think it's true zero. I have one coming from EMP Performance. Um, when I installed this, I actually, the bearings were binding up, so I actually messed up my gearbox by dremeling it out a little bit too much, so it was a little bit too loose. We're gonna go ahead and put a brand new gearbox in it. Um, one thing I gotta say about custom RC upgrades, guys, is I tried getting a whole Lee Wood on his website, on Facebook, on multiple occasions, just about questions, about his products, and other things. I can't ever get customer service, so I'm not even gonna give custom RC upgrades another chance on any other products, probably. So I'm switching to EMP performance. I'll probably end up putting this on the infraction or something. All right, we're getting a lot closer. Uh, we got the spool in. We got a 42 teeth gear. I think we're gonna try out a 54, the biggest one I got on the motor. Um, we're about to start soldering everything together. So the word on the street is do not cut these TP wires. They look like they're gonna be pretty hard to solder. So I'm just gonna get these castle bullet connectors super hot and just shove them in there and trying to get to solder good. And then we'll uh, solder the air connectors on the end of these eight gauge wires and we'll just plug it straight into the wire. And then we should be getting close to test. Holy crap guys, brand new soldering iron. Don't forget to take the plastic tip off when you turn it on. So I'm about to mount the XLX2 and on this SP version of the Scorch RC chassis, there's holes already for it. But I like to put double sided tape as well along with the mounting screws. So just in case you crash, it gives it a little bit of cushion and then it won't mess up the ESC hopefully. And we're getting super close. Got the motor mounted, XLX2 mounted. We're going with a 54 pinion and a 42 spur gear. Uh, we just got the battery mounts mounted. I took my SMC batteries and I put them over here and I picked it up in the middle to make sure that it's about the same weight on both sides. It's a little bit heavier on the battery side, so I figured out if I put the GPS right about here towards the outside, kind of balances out the weight pretty well, so should be pretty well balanced. Guys, I think everything's hooked up and we can test it. I'm going to record because I've seen enough horror stories of XLX2s blowing up and this is a new motor and everything. I, You just never know, I guess. Whew, here we go. It's already calibrated to this receiver, so I'm gonna skip all the calibration and all that. Servo's working. Make sure nothing's in the way of my drive shaft. Double check. Ooh, we got power. That's only like half throttle. <laughs> this thing's gonna go ham. Oh man, I'm great at building cars, but when it comes to trimming bodies, I am terrible. Um, the body posts actually lined up perfectly. I got all that good. And the front's actually not too bad, not too much of a gap. But the wheel gaps, I cut way too high so I could try and see in there since it's not clear. And I'm gonna have really high arches, but that's okay. If some air gets in, I got the back cut off, so it'll be able to escape. All right, we're getting ready to take it out for its first rip. Um, we're just going right down the street to a big wide open parking lot, the testing grounds. I just wanna make sure it's not gonna catch flight at around 100 miles an hour. I could get up to like 115 in this parking lot. Uh, and make sure my throttle control with my hands are good. We're just gonna use these SMC batteries, not my special speed run batteries, just to test it out. We're not trying to break any records. We'll bring the GPS though. Um, mail call. We got some new tires, which we'll probably use in a couple days for when we really go for a speed run. Um, we got some more 8mm gear bores. Uh, we got a smaller gear because we shredded the stock pinion on the infraction. Got an air gearbox on standby. Ooh, here we go. 
EMP performance. We got another zero degree hinge pin to test out and this really nice motor mount. This could take big motors or small motors. We got some more drive cups since I used all mine. And we got some little overdrive gears from Trill for SEX24 so we can make a brushless fast crawler. All right guys, we're out at the testing grounds. It's getting dark. So we're gonna be testing a black car on a black top at night. Doesn't sound like the best idea, but I just wanna get a few tests in. Oh, it's gonna be hard to get the trigger pulled down. Woo, that is fast. Those are the Scorch RC skid plates. Let's try and get one more longer pass in. barely see it Woo, look at that skid plate hopefully it's protecting the chassis like I wanted to let's see how fast we went all right let's do one more pass before it gets too dark Got Dylan in the house with the skateboard. Oh, Mason in the house. What up, bro? How you doing? Not much. RCing. Yeah, watch out. It's dangerous. Those are titanium skid blades. Protect the chassis. So what's he doing? Is it hitting hit the ground? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm braking, the front's coming down. I'm just testing it out right now. Make sure I can handle it out on a straightaway on a road without crashing. See how fast we went so far. One oh seven in the parking yeah, lot. Dude, crazy. <laughs> Let me see how hot the engine's running. Shouldn't be too hot since I'm not. All yourself? Yeah. I've been busting my ass off on this week trying to build it. It's a big ass new motor. 111, that's good. Nice and cool. Man, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, dude. Probably too dark to do any more runs. Nice, the chassis has not gotten scratched. Not even at all. Yeah, that's what these titanium skid plates I put on for. Oh, okay. Help protect so that's, it. That's what you see sparking? Yeah, they're supposed to spark. Yeah. <laughs> Friggin', yeah, I'm trying to protect this chassis. First time I ever took this out, the chassis is like over $200 from the UK, yeah. Oh. I had to buy in pounds. <laughs> well guys, I got all the colors I need for the fluorescent camouflage I want to do on the body. But... I procrastinated too much today to get artist sponges. I need artist sponges to be able to do the camouflage. So I think tonight I'm just going to paint it super bright, fluorescent yellow, just so I could run it tomorrow. Just so I could see it and other people on the road could see it. And then I'll probably go back and finish the paint later. Hopefully it'll turn out. Mm -hmm. 